In this video, I will do a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I made my Souls-like health bars. Most of the health bar tutorials you see on YouTube looks like this. It's a simple health bar that deducts your HP when you receive damage. In my game, I want to have a health bar that illustrates the damage when you get hit. Just like the health bars you see in Dark Souls or in Elden Ring, where you see a yellow damage indicator when you get hit and slowly eases down to the actual health value. So let's get started. First, let's make a blank scene in Unity. Then create the basic health bars that you will see mostly in YouTube tutorials. To make this, we need to create a canvas. This is the game object where our UI elements will be displayed. You can see this clearly when you click 2D. Then, let's make the basic health bar by first making an empty game object. Let's call it health bar. Let's modify its dimensions to make it look like a health bar. Then, let's create a UI image and call it background. Then, let's click the anchor presets. Go to the stretch in all directions option and press the alt key to set it to stretch to all the sides. This will allow the background to follow the health bar game object's dimensions. Then let's select a background color for our health bar. Let's select a darker red color. Now that we have our background set, let's start creating the fill for the health bar. Let's create another UI image and call it fill. Just like the background, let's stretch it. And don't forget to hit the alt key to stretch it all the way. Then let's select a color. Let's choose a brighter red for our health bar. Basically, these are the things needed to make the health bar. Now, let's adjust the position of the health bar. Let's put it on the upper left side of our canvas. Select on the health bar game object, then select the anchor to the upper left option. This will move the health bar to the topmost side of the canvas. Then let's adjust it a bit to give some offset space. Now let's test it. Looks good. The next step is to add a slider component to the health bar game object. Then assign the fill image to it. We don't need to assign something on the track since our health bar does not need one. Once assigned, we can now test the value of the slider. As you can see, as we adjust the value, the fill also adjusts. We can also set the max value. We will be using the max value as our variable for max health. Next step is to create some scripts for the health bar. We need this script so that we can assign or modify values to the slider. Let's name our script health bar. Then let's add unity engine.ui and set the slider as public. Let's name it health slider. We need to also set our max health. Let's call it max health and set it to 100 for now. Then we need to set our health variable. Let's call it health. On start, we need to set the health equivalent to our max health. Then we can make a condition that checks if the slider value is not equal to the health value. It will modify the slider value equal to the health value. This will link our health to our slider value. Just like this. Then, let's add a take damage function to our script and call it if we press the spacebar key. Pressing the spacebar key will simulate the health bar taking damage, just like this. That's it for the basic health bar. Now, let's make the yellow easing health bar. First, we need to duplicate the existing health bar. Let's name it ease health bar. Then, we will delete the health bar's background since it will be redundant with the ease health bar's background. Then, let's change the fill color to yellow. Then, let's remove the script from the health bar and move it to a parent game object called health bar. This will be the main game object for our health bar, which includes the children health bar and the ease health bar. Then, let's modify the script to add the ease health bar. Let's add a public slider called Ease Health Slider for our yellow easing health bar. Then let's add a lerp speed. This will be used for our easing later on. Then let's modify the Ease Health Slider value to use math lerp 
and use is health slider value health and the lerp speed as its variables. Lerp will help do the easing effect per update. The value will not go directly to the target value, but it will ease slowly till the value is achieved. Just like this. Now, let's attach this to our enemy models. First, we need a model. Then, we duplicate our canvas and change the render mode to world space. Then, add it to the model's prefab. Then, let's reset the position of the canvas and the health bar to zero. As you can see, the health bar is huge, so let's adjust its scale down. Then, adjust its position to place it above the model's head. Now, let's test it. As you can see, when we rotate the model, the health bar also rotates. To fix this, we need to make the health bar as a billboard. I pre-made a billboard script that we will be using. Let's test it before I explain how it works. Now, the billboard script makes the health bar face the camera all the time. This is the billboard script. We need to set the main camera for the health bar to face to. Then, we just update the health bar to look at the camera by using transform position plus cam forward. This will force the health bar to always face the camera. So that's it. By the way, some subscribers are asking if they can already wishlist the game in Steam. So our Steam page is now live and you can wishlist anytime. If you find this video helpful, hitting the like button would help spread this tutorial to other people looking for this solution. If you want to follow my development journey, feel free to subscribe. Let me know if you have other topics you want us to tackle. Just comment down below and we'll see what we can do. In our next video, we'll be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how I set up our Steam page so that we can get wishlist early on as we go along with the development.